This video outlines the advanced customization capabilities the new stair tool offers in ARCHICAD. The brand new stair tool of ARCHICAD is extremely flexible and versatile and offers a high degree of customizability to all its components or sub-elements. All parts of a stair may be freely modified and customized after the stair is placed. The baseline of the stair can be modified. Straight segments can be converted to curved segments and vice versa. And the segment type of segments can also be freely modified. For example, a flight segment can be modified to a landing segment. Similarly, either side of the stair boundary polyline can be modified with polyline editing commands offered by the PET palette. When in edit mode, each tread of the stair can be individually modified, since each tread is a separate GDL object instance. You may use one GDL object for one tread and another GDL object for another tread, and set any of the parameters to different values. Additionally, the geometry of each individual tread can be freely modified using the commands of its pet palette. Even the height of each tread can be modified individually. The same is true for risers. Each riser of the stair can be individually modified since each riser is a separate GDL object instance. Therefore, you can use one GDL object for one riser and another GDL object for another riser and set any of their parameters to different values. Also, the geometry of each individual riser can be freely modified using the commands of its pet palette. Each of them can even be moved from its default position. When the geometry of a tread or a riser has been modified from its default, it may be reset to its default geometry by a pet palette command. You can also model your own custom stair treads or stair risers. Save them as custom GDL objects using the file, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as, Stair Riser or Stair Tread Menu Command, and then use those custom GDL objects for any of your treads or risers. One additional command you can use when saving custom stair treads and risers is the Convert Selection to Morph Command. When in Edit Mode, select a tread for example, right-click, and select the Convert Selection to Morph command of the context menu. The given tread will be removed from the stair, and you will have a morph element in its place. You can now modify this morph element to the desired tread shape. Then, save it as a custom stair tread. As part of the save process, you need to click twice to specify the middle of the tread's intended front edge and the orientation of that tread front edge. This will guarantee that the generated custom tread object will have the correct position and orientation when used in any of the stair treads later. The structure of stairs may also be customized. In a stair with multiple flights or landings, all flights or landings will have the same structure. However, in edit mode, you can select any individual flight and change it to a different structure with different parameters, or modify the parameters of its current structure. The same is true for landings. Select any individual landing and modify its structure and its parameters to any desired value. Additionally, the structure of flights may be split into two in edit mode using the split stair structure command of the context menu.
and even though split structures can be further split. Each of such a split flight segment can have a different structure and parameters. These split operations can also be reversed by selecting adjacent flight segments and using the Unify Stair Structure command of the context menu in edit mode. In summary, the purpose of ARCHICAD's new stair tool is to provide maximum flexibility and customizability so that any kind of stair geometry can be modeled and documented with it.